Today's the last day you can get your early votes in midterm election day, only coming up Tuesday. Okay, yeah, Shelby Rose joins us live from West Gray, the busiest polling location in Harris County with a look at some of these close races. And Shelby, how has voter turnout been so far? Hey guys, this morning there has been a pretty steady influx of voters coming by to cast their ballots here at the West Gray Polling Center. It's only been open for about an hour and there is a little bit of a line, so we're going to show you guys what it looks like. But honestly, from what we've noticed, people have been able to come in and out fairly quickly. So if you want to come in and early vote this morning, go ahead and do so. You know, in recent years, early voting numbers have really been on the increase, but Harris County is actually seeing fewer voters this year compared to the 2018 mem uh, midterms. As of last night, there have been more than 643,000 ballots cast, which is more than 100,000 fewer than 2018. There are a few races that are being very closely watched. Of course, the governor's race between incumbent Greg Abbott and his Democratic challenger Beto O'Rourke. Latest polling by the University of Texas at Tyler shows Abbott favored in the race by six points. Now, looking specifically at Harris County, it's been back and forth for the seat as Harris County judge. The University of Houston Hobby School reporting 47% of likely voters say they would support Republican Alexandra Mueller compared to just 45% support for incumbent Lena Hidalgo. That analysis by the Hobby School also shows 8 out of 10 voters listed crime, public safety, and government corruption as very important in their decision on which candidate to support for Harris County Judge. And if you want to stay up to date on candidate information, finding sample ballots along with voting hours and locations, we're going to have another QR code for you guys, so get out your phone and scan this and it will take you to the election section on our website, fox26houston.com. Reporting live in Montrose, Shelby Rose, Fox 26 News.